Today we're diving headfirst into one of the most iconic hacking scenarios in film history. The question we're asking is, can you really hack traffic lights? You've seen it in movies like, The Italian Job, and, Live Free or Die Hard, but how real is it? Let's break it down and as always this content is for educational purposes only. First let's talk about how traffic lights work. In most modern cities, traffic lights are controlled by a central computer system. They use a technology called SCADA, or Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition, which allows city officials to monitor and control infrastructure. So in theory if a hacker could gain access to this SCADA system, they could manipulate traffic lights. But here's the catch. These systems are not just lying around open on the internet. They're protected by multiple layers of security measures. These can include everything from firewalls, intrusion detection systems, to regular patch management, and stringent access controls. But let's say, for argument's sake, that a determined hacker somehow managed to bypass all these defenses and gain access to the system. Even then, causing, movie-style, mayhem would be difficult. By the way if you enjoy this type of content let me know by hitting that like button. You see, traffic management systems are designed with fail-safes. For example, if a system detects conflicting signals, like attempting to make lights green in all directions, it goes into a fail-safe mode. This usually means defaulting to flashing red, effectively becoming a stop sign, to prevent accidents. And here's the most important point. Hacking into traffic systems is illegal and highly unethical. It endangers lives and can lead to serious criminal charges. So, while hacking traffic lights might be a staple of Hollywood action scenes, in reality, it's much less feasible, and much more legally and morally problematic. Movies, after all, are made to entertain, and real-life hacking is rarely as glamorous or consequence-free. In our next episode, we'll be tackling another interesting myth. Can an airplane really be hacked mid-flight? You don't want to miss that one, so make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep asking questions, stay curious.